colleague Mike Cohn is yes. Double D. Yes. We are going to do your first pumpkin beer. The, the prospect of a pumpkin flavored beer doesn't really appeal to me. Um, I've been surprised more than once uh, on this show. That's what she said. Um, it's not called rape, it's surprise sex. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and well, I was trying to get through one episode without anything that was uh, needed to be cut out, and that was. Uh, uh, yeah. Keep it in. All right. <laughs> That's what she uh, said. So, well. uh, anyway, having a pumpkin ale, uh, I've never had a pumpkin ale. Uh, I'm, I'm not really. I'm not looking, I don't know, I'm, I don't think I'm going to like it, but like I said, I've been, I've been surprised more than once in this episode, so, um, you know, and plus it's made by a brewery that I uh, appreciate and enjoy, so, you know. I respect. Cool. With that being said, let's get into the freaking Post Road Pumpkin Ale. Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Plenty of room for everybody, man. Okay, so as far as the head goes, it's it's still got a good frothy head to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice, white and creamy, mm -hmm. and lacing as well. If you swirl it around the glass, it sticks to it, mm -hmm. which is big doings. It's good stuff. As far as the nose goes. It sounds kind of weird, but I'm, I'm smelling like a like a nutmeg, and um, I would I smell not pumpkins right away, but like pumpkin pumpkin pie crust. Mm -hmm. The the crust part of it, not the not the mm -hmm. pumpkin part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it smells like really warm and inviting. Um, we're also drinking this beer. Uh, I pulled it out early. We're not drinking this at uh, super cold levels. It's probably around 55. It's warmed up, which should bring the flavors out uh, a bit more. But I'm expecting sweet malty, uh, sweet malty Batman. Uh, I'm expecting some pumpkin notes in there. Not it's, it's, it's it's weird because I'm, I'm getting like a little bit of a. Every time I take a sniff, I'm getting a different scent. Like I, I got a little bit of the pumpkin pie, very very faint, very undertone uh, pumpkin pie. Mm. Other times there's kind of a, almost like a. Is it the cinnamon? When you said nutmeg, is it, is it the cinnamon type? Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. <laughs> uh, the other thing as well is, is to cut you off um, is a lot of carbonation is coming off the bottom of that. It's still yes, streaming it's out. Cinnamon. It looks like champagne. It does a little bit. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying as far as a hint of cinnamon. I think that has to do with like the spices that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, it does say um, ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. So, well, if I could read, I could have done that. All right, let's take a drink. Let's get into this. It finishes different than I thought it would. I thought it had a little more bite to it, a little more. I thought the malty it would be more malty. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not. It's and it's it's very dry at the end. Mm -hmm. I can say it's a really dry beer. It's like it. A lot of beers, when you drink it, it, it goes down and you, you taste every taste from the front of the tongue to the back of the tongue, and then it kind of goes down. This one stops at about the middle of the tongue, and then it's just bubbly and fizzy. Yeah, just bubbly in the back. Bubbly in the back. Now, I, bubbly in the back. It's my favorite website. They're not a sponsor of the show. I don't know why it would be <laughs> bubbly in the back. But, um, yeah, it, 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 it seems like it would have more taste based off the smell. See now to me the, the pumpkin and spice flavors are all I'm tasting. Like I don't taste, I, I I don't know what I expected because you know as we pointed out this is my first pumpkin beer. Um, I, I almost tasted it to or want, expected it to taste. I just am tripping all over my fucking tongue tonight. <laughs> I expected it to taste like a beer that somebody threw some pumpkin in. Right. But it doesn't. Don't it taste like pumpkin, like fizzy. Pumpkin pie -y kind fermented of fermented pumpkin that was locked out. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's what it, it's what it tastes like. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting really a beery taste, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing because I, when I whenever I have a flavored beer with, with anything, um, that it's usually beer with somebody squirted some flavor in it, and it just tastes like shit. That's um, that's not <laughs> flavor they squirted into it. <laughs> this uh, we're not talking about college days and frat parties. 
but you, you know, you, here, you just, take this. I made this for you specifically. Not you, you. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend can't have any bad, bad. Right. So uh, yeah, I mean, all I'm tasting is a pumpkin, and it's it's, it's good. It's good. I, I don't know how many of these I could have. But that's that's a good point. I I don't think I would have more than just this half a one that I've had, or or I, I probably could finish the bottle. Uh, it's it's okay. Get it. I mean, if, if you want to get it, and you want to try a pumpkin, I'll get it. I. I'm just not blown away by it. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. It's it's good, but it's forgettable. We've had some really good beers. Yeah. And and this one uh, is, you're right. It's forgettable. It's it's vanilla. Not to throw out another flavor, but right. it, it's it's kind of like yeah, all right, whatever. Beer is the cure for what ails you.